Me nads. It's the it's the fourth day we've been here. It's the third day of competition. Uh, Excuse me, toilet. We've, we're in top 30 of the major prelims, and now um, I'm competing in subs now. Wide's downstairs, also competing in subs. Eli's going back to bed. Well, has like three minutes before he has to wake up. About to go into my pros rounds. The gang's all here. Amy's asleep. These two are sleeping together. We got Jackson Fines. That was Jackson Fines. We're in a new high school. This time we're in Johnson High School. Um, everyone's just kind of long because, like, after I eat sup, it's kind of intense. Did not want to be here, but we're doing it now. There's only um. So I got really close. Yeah, yeah you really did. That was kind of intimidating. These angles. There's get only funny. 83 people in poetry. Oh, that's that's kind of wild, like, actually. I might pop off if this shit does better than my oratory. I'm not gonna know how to feel because I simply labored over that with every ounce of my soul, and I threw this shit together in a day. <laughs> right. So, no energy for makeup. Simply threw on mascara, under eye cover, because these things were bad, and then a little bit of lip. And it's like you can just tell how little I give a shit anymore. Because I'm, so, I'm done. I'm graduated. Why am I here? Why am I here? I'm simply an adult. Why am I? Why am I here? Okay. If you're judging a poi round, what is one thing a competitor can do that immediately you give them the six? Or at least you want to. Okay. Predator does one thing and you immediately give them the six. What is it? Be a woman. Judging duo, yeah. they do one thing and you immediately give them the six. What is it? Um, you know what? It's if they say, for reference, fines. For reference, McGrill. No, it was at a forensics tournament, and I have a video of it on my camera. <laughs> For reference, we're talking about Ian uh, kissing uh, Eli. I have it on my camera. No, it's, no, it, they were playing back out, and they go like this, and they're topless, such, and they're like, you, you, you. It, he kissed you first. He is currently no, he wrapping his no, arm he around it. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. That doesn't count. Yeah, it does. Oh, are you talking about when our lips, like, barely touched? Yeah. That was, like, that was, like, our lip. Wait, wait, you... We're talking about different. <laughs> My about lips this. touched his. Because I forgot, I forgot too, and he just reminded me. That's what I thought you were. Well, way. No, I was. Thought, I was thinking about. <laughs> what do you think about crazy this? Crazy things are happening here. Yeah. I thought Eli being a joke was gay. He's kissed two different dudes. How do you kiss two different dudes? Okay. Tell me, tell me this. Tell the camera. One of them wasn't my. Well, actually, neither of them I wanted. So. That's my. That's my answer. <laughs> I don't know if I want. You look a little that. guilty. <laughs> Stage one, denial. If you're judging HI. Competitor starts the piece. First thing they do, you have to give them a six. What is it? Like you, you immediately give them the six. One thing they do, you immediately have to give them the six. They use the same voice for each character. So they pop like in here. That just looks terrible. You get the six. Immediately gave them the six. What would that be? Um. <laughs> they start crying in the first 30 seconds of their TV. That's so real. I've been seeing that in pros. They start off so, like, dramatically. Judging HI, competitor does one thing, you immediately give them the six. What is it? Um, probably say by Don Delitis. I, I personally don't like when, like, when, like, white guys especially do HI. 
I have an erection. Literally, literally. My pros round is there. My storytelling round. In there. So I'm lucky that uh, they haven't been too close together, but in close together enough where it's been kind of an issue earlier. Also, there was a clip I filmed a couple days ago about making a short film. Um, I am, and it will probably end up in this video. Oh my god, it has been so hard to film because I filmed the entire thing at the public speaking day of day one when I was here. And then all of the files got lost and it all was gone. So there was an original cut of that that will never see the light of day. All of the videos are gone. And I had to completely remake it from scratch. Yeah. But the idea was so good. I couldn't pass it up. I couldn't do it. Trey and Noah went to Sam's. They are in the top 14 in the entire country in duo. Damn, show Green Book. I don't know, baby. Turn up. I have an erection. Vomit on his... My erection. My, I'm on his sweater already. Mom. Lose yourself in the mirrors in the moment. That was fire. You know, I was watching this video about Skibby Toilet the other day. I want to just go higher again. Uh -huh. Your piece is so good. Did you end up... I did, I did not advance top 16. Riz. <laughs> you know what they say about storytelling? What? I say a lot of things. Have you seen a lot of you? Have you been seeing the skibbity? <laughs> Go. I think we can end up, um, redo. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, celebrating, you know? I just ended my edge streak, so I was thinking about we can go get dinner, maybe? <laughs> What's wrong, pal? <laughs> damn, damn you! Hold on. <laughs> Hit it! Hit it! Oh, Me? No! Wyatt! Sug! I'm a nuz! Call me Mr. Among Us! <laughs> Ian! I, Among Us, more I like, I'm gonna bust. We're about Call to me Mr. Go Among Us! Mr. Me, Among Us. Let me join the chorus. Wait, I'm so. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. If you're watching this, your Red Bull has been in here the entire trip. Just letting you know. Give us a taste test. I'm not gonna do it. What's up? Hey! Hey! Wow. Hey! Hey! How's it feel? How's it feel? Feels good. Oh. We'll see though. Job not finished. Where's, what's up? How's your, your heart has got to be in your chest right now? Not yet. Not yet. Do all interpretation. Oh, it was such a slow transition. Like the Google slide Ah! So I heard you you ran over time. You see her fucking way. Believe me, I don't cuss. I'm Ron Burgundy. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. Mr. Speech and Mr. Debate. Mr. Speech and Mr. Debate. <laughs> I hope Rhino makes it. Hey, that's, that's the after hours logo. <laughs> Aww. Hey! Aww. They're doing it on purpose, man. Celebration in. He gets bigger. He gets bigger. Okay, we're going into the Does he get bigger? Right, let's go get food. Does he get bigger? 
My cock is bigger. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna pirate this movie. We're seeing a movie. Tough movie footage. I'm not gonna pirate this movie. The film is over. What do you think? Uh, I love Lance. Love him. The film is over. What do we think? It's pretty fire. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Wyatt, movie thoughts? I did not consent. Trey fell asleep. Trey? Yeah, I was getting my shut out. Bro, what? <laughs> and then I told and I him they would probably make it to well, the finals. Man, first guy gets the top 30, buddy. Oh, he tried to act all tough. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. <laughs> I do not consent to being filmed. What's your favorite character? Uh, not on me. No, no, no. Nothing in particular. Even alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, did you see all those hockey players? On the they have broad Facebook. shoulders. They clearly short All hair. I'm saying is we saw that movie through Riley's eyes and we she saw a, that She honed in on the women a lot. She honed in on the was, women a lot. There was one she guy in that movie. Was, was, sure. That's her dad. Okay, solid ass film. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I enjoyed that more than the first one. I mean, yeah, yeah, for real. I seriously did. I enjoyed that. Recommend. If you want a good cry, watch this. No, nah, that's so. Real. I would have cried, but I'm in public, so no. You don't cry, also. Not, not in public. You didn't no. even cry like after unexpected tenor. Then that, that was no, because like, you, I didn't lock in, and I didn't want to because I have emotional baggage. I understand. It's okay, Jack. Wait, emo emotion, like emo 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 emotion, like. Why am I built like that? Actually. I need, this is, I need. is that is that Audrey? <laughs> Why am I built like that? Why am I built like the combination of angry and scared, and maybe a little bit disgust? But that's because I'm a slutty whore. What are you telling? <laughs> Devin just went. Devin just went off. He's not coming back. He's not coming back. He has a heart condition. He's gonna die. <laughs> Hey, free door spot. No! Come back, Jason! Come back, Jason! Noah just striding along. <laughs> the pros smutted. I had not breaking pros. Fuck you, Ashes. But I did break the swords on him. Welcome to NST. I got hair dressed in No! Cut it. That's blacklisted. That's off the record. That's off the record. <laughs> Welcome to NSDA. <laughs> Welcome back to NSDA um, hours. Not before, not after, not during. Check some fights. What's happening? What's happening, Mr. Fines? I'm trying to sword fight with him. <laughs> it's a strange criminal. Oh, he's doing a Super Jack special. <laughs> Super Jack special. <laughs> now, hold on, hold on. But let me get a quick interview with Mr. Ian, what are your thoughts on this? I'm not gonna lie, the secret, <laughs> the secret why I give it to me. <laughs> the secret why it's special, look, he kind of got me. The art exhibit. The art exhibit. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this fine piece of art? Um, I think it's better than the thinker, for real. It's moving. The crier. Dance! 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 Dance and you'll get your rations! Dance! Dance! Yes! Yes! Date? Nope, not date two. Jesus Christ. It's like... I don't know, day five that we've been here, day four of competition. It's just me and wife are making the storytelling now. Um, and that is literally it because we go on some nonsense. It's literally just me and Mike and Beacon sort to him. It's a really good time. One to one day, I think it is. Huh? Okay, so subs day two. Yeah. Subs day two. Done with. We're back in the hotel. What's up, what? Bobby. Sorry, do you consent to being filmed, sir? Mm, this time. Okay, how are we doing, what? I changed my mind. <laughs> I don't consent to being filmed. I don't either, so we're gonna film the one. So, uh, I don't know how we did. I think. I don't know how you did. I don't know how I did. Why you were top 60? I should get a trophy for that. You, I mean, I feel like they got a plaque over here for top 60. Uh, 
I made it to Sam's. I don't know if finals is out. It has not been posted. They are taking two years and they got a ceremony for the main eye events, but Sup's does not get shit because Sup's is not real. The, re the only real event is HI. She don't care about subs until someone started doing well in subs. That's the thing. No, the half the team was like, all right, Trey, I know we're out. The whole tournament's over. Earlier, the rest of the group, the rest of you guys will all just go there with your friends. You'll be there. Forty-five minutes earlier. Than everybody else. Yeah. 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 So we made it. This is, they're doing the diamond ceremony. That's where all the pieces happen. That's where all the pieces happen. We found where the pieces happen. This is insane. I didn't put in the last one because I was too speechless to talk, but I'm a national finalist in storytelling tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Um, so I'll put that a second in my NSA career after hosting After Hours is my favorite thing I've ever done. Nation honors those schools that have reached Decade milestones of nationals' attendance. Earlier in the week, the schools on the screen were ready. From the other hand, in 10th place, Khalil Hill and Noah Tucker. Yeah! 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 I love Trey Hill and Noah Tuttle. Oh. I love Trey Hill and Noah Tuttle. Yeah. I slept with him. Epic. What? <laughs> I, I don't know. I really sound like they're such snakey. Snakey. They really sound like we're going to have to listen back. It's just in. They were coached by Snakey. We're going to have to listen back. So, um, we're on day five. I have filmed next to nothing today. Because, um, so if you've been watching the last clip, we sparsely we've reached finals. Supplementals, um, yeah, I'm in, I'm in national storytelling finals. Um, so that's kind of wild. We haven't had a national finalist at our school since 2019, and she won the point national championship, which is whack. So, this, <laughs> it's fascinating. This is fascinating. This is genuinely fascinating. But yeah, I filmed next to nothing today. I've been too locked in. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's that's Nats, you guys. This is Nats. What is the storytelling? Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna get the one. 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 He's gonna get one. <laughs> so we're also going to a place, place called Adventureland. Um, at least I am with some of the group going to Adventureland. He's a park. Iowa, I think. Just Iowa, I think. I don't know if it's anywhere else, but um, going to this amusement park. Adventureland, they got like a water park and they got like a theme park, so a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Um, might bust out the GoPro again, low key. I didn't plan on it because, um, I think the GoPro is, it films really, really good footage. You can do it underwater, you know how much crazy shit. However, the file sizes are huge. So I literally, I filmed all the full stuff on my day three. It is day six. I barely finished uploading all the footage off of the camera onto my phone last night. It's taken like three days. So there's that. Long reservation. Should, Should I go? And perform. Mutilations. We've been out here for at least two straight days, I think. Yeah, probably. We had to eat Amy. Yep, that's why. Unfortunately, Amy's gone. that's why Amy's gone. Ian ran away before we got that far, but. Um. Yeah, he was next. Uh, I think Wyatt drowned. Yeah, Wyatt drowned in the pool. Yeah, that, that sounds like. But half our entries are dead, uh, which they didn't break, so it's fine. It's okay. But, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, or are, are you just a liar liar, but... <laughs> or maybe I'm just a liar liar. That's funny, sir. Storytelling finals was funnier than HI final. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Shit, crazy. I'll, I'll call it here to see. Okay. Eventually, I'm riding line for two hours. We're calling a number we see on the wall. I had nothing. Right.
It's not real. So why? If you're going for Atlantic, so long we start grabbing toes. We're playing concentration. Are, you, are we in camp? Yeah. Oh. Call ended. But don't put your number up there. <laughs> My did god. They, did they say something? No, I just said call ended. Okay, so there's the ride we're about to go on. We went on one ride the underground and it was terrible. It was genuinely horrendous. Amazing setup, horrible. They're off. What's up, guys? What? What's up? It's like. Not much. We're playing Pokemon Go. The heat's terrible. The heat's bad, but I'm excited to ride this ride. I'm excited for a thrill. So real. Now, I think I want to ride the green one after this. Game. Yeah, I feel that. I'm not going on the Dragon Slayer, though. The Dragon Slayer looks fucking grim. We can probably do some rearranging of groups in a little bit. I'm thinking after the green one, we just go to the water park. Really. That sounds fun. Not riding the green one. So there's the Dragon Slayer. That's like my piece, and I'm not going on that because it shows that there's a bit. I don't, I don't do spinning. I will show you, but the people in line will get mad at them. Look, no, not doing that. It's a dragon. I will not be slaying. I made it to storytelling finals. That is good enough for me. Big, big, big participant in Sweet Sensei in Nashville, Tennessee, when I was in high school. Let me tell you, it was my all-time favorite thing about high school. It was a cold, stormy winter night at the home of Fergus and his 13 unwashed sons. He believed that bathing caused madness. When they heard a knock at the door, he yanked it open to find a poor minstrel covered in snow. Please, I am freezing. To wang. Be gone, you singing varlet! There is no room in here! But before he could slam the door in his face, he was stopped by his son, Wiglaf. Wait, father! Perhaps the minstrel can sing us a tale! Yes! Yes! I shall tell you the one about the dragon, Gorzil. <coughs> Gorzil is a dragon, and a greedy one is he. And from his jaws of terror, villagers do flee. He burps up clouds of smoke and shoots lightning from his snout. Where, oh, where's the hero who'll find his weakness out? To Wang. In sixth place. Katie Matthews from Lake Highland Preparatory School in Florida, coached by Ryan Smith. In fifth place, Audrey Shepard from Ramoa Community High School in Missouri, coached by Jenny Overstreet and Dane Schnacke. Well, this is it. <laughs> this is it, guys. The last thing I'm doing last in my high school career. It's the last thing I'm ever filling for after hours. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. They love everybody. One last thing, know. Eli. One last possibly. thing. One last I message for the I NSDA after hours. Um, I do not want to I spent $20 on a Cornelius. Ian, 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 Ian. Your last thing. Your last thing. An NSDA forever? Well, Ellie and Jackson are going to take over next season, but like for this chunk of time, yeah. come back to me. Actually, I have something wait, better. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I wasn't feel. featured very much on this show, but I think I made an impact when I showed up. Been good. I'm done. I'm free. Amy? Uh, my peak is when we, the NSA After Hours, released the unreleased footage of stuff that didn't fit in videos and it was mostly Amy Robinson appearing in every single video because I was never funny if funny enough to make it in the cut so or we were doing something we were supposed to oh, and no, we're doing, wait no delete that I, that actually wasn't a good thing but oh. subscribe also um I'm still like I'm still upset that young Stalin never actually got put on the video I'm requesting Audrey you right now put young Stalin Right here, the real photo, not old Stalin on top of young Sheldon. And if you do that, I will hunt you down. Well, I wasn't I will going find to. You. Please put young uh, Stalin right here. Ian, no, no fucking Eli. What was yep. your, your redo? 
uh, my redo balls. I forgot. Um, see you next year. She's the most beautiful person in the world. Not too. Too late. Why is Ian? Welcome back to our segment called uh, Audrey's Falling Asleep. Today, Audrey's Falling Asleep one last time. Did you take this? Just means for one last time, I can film my segment. Audrey falling asleep. Thank you, NSDA After Hours. One. All right, results are out. No one's happy. Barnes and Noble booksellers. Edge job was terrible. Duo was great. What's up, Wyatt? I'm finally free. You get to go home. I was gonna wait till I got home. I am definitely not doing that. We're outside of come and go. Yeah. The that's where it all began. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have a joke. Um, so it's point five. It's been a long time coming. I've done a whole lot of these videos. I spent a lot of time on this channel telling bad jokes, doing stupid shit, but, um, for everything you might laugh at, for anything you might enjoy, for everything you fucking despise for all your heart, I appreciate you being there. If you told me, filming the first NSC after I was, that I was going to take fifth in storytelling with the NSC National Champion, well, I would have told you I better get goddamn good at HIV. Something like that. But they probably wouldn't believe you. For the very last time. If you inform me while I'm sleeping again, I'm gonna fucking crack your neck. I think they made a segment. Until they made my segment. You had a really good shot of that one. That was, pretty that was a great shot. That was I might, funny. I might get it again. That was funny. That was might funny. Might do it. Might do it. It's only my I last thought, shot right now. I thought the other place was your last shot. I thought the other place was your last shot. No, I haven't filmed my last shot yet. Probably cut this out then, because I already had my moment. I throw my shirt off and run away. Oh, I, thought about it. I thought about taking this Fully off. Fully From North Kansas City to... Uh, come and go about an hour outside Des Moines, Iowa. And probably about two hours in Kansas City. Very last time. This is Andre Shepard with NSD After Hours uh, signing off. Back to you, Tim. <sighs> we made it! I thought you died in that house fire. What are you doing here? I thought you drowned. So, do you have any regrets? I think all the time. I mean, like, for speech and debate. I was speech and debate. Um, I don't think maybe fishermen, the gay fishermen, he's probably could have gotten an axe. I don't know. I'm not a fisherman, Wyatt. Yeah, you don't look the type. Oh, you know what I found yesterday? I still have this. Oh my god. Just throw that away. Throw that away. Oh my god. Why should it's I? A bomb. It's a bomb. The fuck? Why didn't you tell me that? I didn't. I didn't. Oh my god, you had that? Yes! Oh my god. What? That could have blown up any minute, brother. I brought that to like tournaments and shit. <laughs> that was on the van with me to Iowa. That could have. You could have died. That is hilarious. <laughs> that is actually so funny. What the fuck? Oh my god. Do you know that was a bomb when you found it? <laughs> what Dude. the fuck? Oh my god. That's insane. I can't. Oh. I just didn't. I don't know. Damn. Well, I guess. Do you I, have any regrets? The Liberty video. That was. That was. That was pretty fucking. Pretty ass. Um, sorry, we couldn't go to Pleasant Hill. So I hate pedophiles. Because Pleasant Hill. I think they're pretty funny. They even made a solid video. They should cancel the tournament. Huh. Did you see something? Small world we live in. But you know, I'd, I'm fine with ending it there. Yeah. I think I'm alright with this. Well. There's always next year. Wait, wait, wait. I've been wanting to ask this.
What was your favorite water review? Like, what was the actual... Really? Yeah. That one? I couldn't let the people know. Like, you had to buff the rank for that one, yeah. so it would be a bit... But yeah, that's... You know, this... This really wasn't NSDA after hours. Yeah. Yeah, I... I...
phone as uh, um, Hey man, NSCA After Hours, man. I am so glad that somebody took those videos of us when we didn't know someone was recording because now I can go back in time, you know, 10 years from now and I can see that somebody took those videos of us and I can relive those memories and the videos are pretty fucking funny too. So for that, I have nothing but appreciation for you guys. Um, the videos were always hilarious. Buck Rocker still, Buck Pembroke Hill still. I wouldn't be the same without speech. I wouldn't be the same without theater and all that shit. So for that, I'm really grateful, really happy. Hope you guys do great things. You catch flies with honey, but you catch more honeys by being fly. Hey, <laughs> so. Uh, NSDA after hours. What? What more can I say? Really? I mean. Uh, it, it, it was the time it, 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 it wasn't the friends we made it, it was the time after the hours that we spent and it wasn't the ranks it wasn't the, the scores the talent it was how we spent our time when we weren't competing when we were simply just living. And that's what NSDA After Hours was about. I hope that it shall continue in the future. He doesn't even go here! What's up guys, it's Ron. Uh, you should know I am I'm from season one. You can insert some clips here if you want to. Um, I would just like to say that After Hours was such a good experience. You know, um, Audrey and Wyatt, such great people. Um, and I really hope that this can continue into the future and grow into something really big. So, see you guys. Oh. And also the biggest prank. Quite frankly, he can't see. Jackson Fines, please save me. Please save me, Jackson Fines. I'm under attack. So I've been here for a while trying to think of something funny or clever to say, but I can't, so uh, thank you Audrey and Wyatt for creating this YouTube channel. It's become something so amazing that immortalized our theater and speech at the high school, and I just wanted to say thank y'all, because it's something that I truly love, and everyone else truly loves, so thank you too. You know me. Ask what I did a baby bear. Yes. What I want to be remembered for NSCA After Hours is the Full House Box DVD set and the bubble sword that spilled in the room and made everyone's shoes sticky. I feel like a champion. Last thing I want to be known for After Hours Season 2 is that I am the reigning champion of the NSCA Fight Club. Ah! Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Has anybody told you? 
since this is the last NSCA after hours for a while, just want to say it was a it was a huge honor to be on it this year. I feel amazing. I feel so good about. Hello, I'm Jack Bus, and I loaded that van so good. DA After Hours is a weird piece of almost journalism that means a lot to a couple people. And it's also under new management. There's, there's been what? several women trying to hit on me. I... NSDA after hours. Hello there, I'm White Russ and I'm eating french fries. Why, you can't go back. He's become too powerful. This is a dime bench. Oh my god! <laughs> we're got pranked and we're going to jail. And SDA After Hours is over. At least for me. You know, I'm not going to be working on the show anymore. And truthfully, I didn't even do too much work on the show. Audrey did like 99% of the work. You know, I, I filmed and edited like a little bit. But not even like close to the amount that she's done. So thank you, Audrey, for doing like all the work and calling me the co-host. But, yeah. I won't be on the show anymore. But I probably won't see most of you guys again. We're going to be on the show in the future. You know? Maybe I'll come by and see you guys, or maybe I'll judge at the tournament. Ooh, that'd be pretty funny. But it's been a lot of fun, so I'd like to say thank you. To everyone that's been on the show and has watched it and given the ideas. I look forward to we'll see what happens next with the show, and let me leave you with a little piece of advice. Do stuff. Film stuff, write stuff, draw stuff, do stuff. The show happened we decided, mainly Audrey, decided to film something during tournaments. And we had a lot of downtime during those tournaments, so let's do something. And now, it's a very funny show that I quote way too often. I know some of you quote it as well, so do something. Maybe you can create your own NSDA after hours for yourself. Something that many people enjoy and is very quotable. But with that, I'll be taking my leave now. I'll do my own projects on my own. But, most importantly, I'll always remember this, and you guys. So thank you. To everyone that's been on the show. It's been real and it's been fun. And this is going to be White Rust. Signing off. I prayed to the Holy Spirit of Don Zelitis. A house! Thanks, Iowa. You want some exclusive like DVDs of the Netherlands film All Inclusive? So here we are. <laughs> here we are on the other side of the season. Here we are at the very end of NSDA After Hours. At least for, for our chunk of time for me and Wyatt. And... God damn, I did not expect this series to make the impact that it did. Like, like going back through and looking at all these old clips and seeing all these clips of, like, people from season one and people who were big in season two and talking about what the show meant and important it was and making jokes and saying things that were serious but funny. It's, it's absolutely been incredible. It's, this whole process of creating this last video has been so hard. I'm sorry for the delay on this, by the way. I'm currently recording this July 31st. And the last bit of Nat's footage at the actual tournament that we recorded in the first two thirds of this video was recorded on the 21st of June. So it's been a hot minute, but um, here we are. <laughs> it was just, it was hard to compile all the footage, especially because this was a compilation of three different days and we had to end it. We had to figure out a way to end after hours which is really hard. Uh, we thought about doing like a simple sequence like we did in season one, that little 
quirky credit sequence we had where we included people. We were like, we want to go all out, and we this is our goodbye to our era of After Hours. Seasons 1 and 2, the Audrey and Wyatt era of After Hours. And I think it's going into good hands, genuinely. I was thinking that this was going to be a nothing series I made that no one was going to know about except for me and Wyatt, and it was just going to kind of die after we graduated. But... And I was still wondering if, like, because of the ridiculous amount of free time and effort I put into this series, that it wouldn't have the strength to continue after we graduated. But genuinely, from the overwhelming support of people who enjoyed the show and wanted to continue and want to keep seeing it grow and develop into more things, and people who actively watch it make me realize that this show has what it takes to stick around because it wants to and because there are people that want it to, and it'll find a way. And it may look a little different, but, you know, change is inevitable, and that's okay. That's okay, at the end of the day. I have always wanted to create something like this, and I've been creating things like this since I was a little kid. So I've been reporting and editing videos since I was a little kid, and I'm probably going to continue doing things like this when I go off to college and go off UCM but just not in this way. And this is probably the one I've made that's been the most impactful because it's reached so many people and it's been so many things to me and to Wyatt and to the team. And I'm really, really proud of that. And I'm really proud of what I've been able to capture of what we've accomplished and what I've accomplished and what everyone has been able to like celebrate and enjoy together, including that. And, you know, I'm not going to be gone permanently. I'm probably going to reappear in the Ray Peck tournament video or the UCM tournament video, but I'm not hosting this anymore. I'm not making these anymore. And, you know, I've never had a reason to make these videos. I've made them because one day I was at a tournament and I was bored and I'm like, people are doing funny shit. I'm going to record it and I'm going to see what happens. And over time I put more and more effort into them. And over time I decided to try and make some jokes myself and try to make bits and try to make it funny and try to enjoy it and that's paid off immensely and i've realized that in creating this if we would even call this art or in any form almost journalism if you are ever trying to create something that you think could be important that you think could be big and you think people would enjoy the thing that is going to hold you back the most is yourself and if you can find some way around that, any way around that, you will create something that is bigger than yourself. You won't be sabotaged, you won't be conflicted, and you will make something that is worth seeing to a lot of people.